going down. <laughs> Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can those things work at train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. <laughs> My name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. <laughs> I just wanted to offer some deployment advice. You're lucky these things are dumb animals. Three coordinated guys can take this place. Have you checked the layout yet? Easily defensible by a few people. That's not counting the automated defenses. Automated defenses can be overridden. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable. If something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Um, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. We made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I've got work to do. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! Every few 
few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. We're all in the same boat. I don't know why they keep drawing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. I'd kill for a P-204. Just hold down the trigger and zap. Hallway full of flash-boiled bugs. Captain tell you about the hot labs? I wouldn't go there. Bug Central. Didn't think I'd see this kind of action after retirement. I'd kill for a P-204. Just hold down the trigger and zap. Hallway full of flash-boiled bugs. of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You seem less upset at the situations than the others. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You seem less upset. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. You seem less upset at this, at this situation than the others. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. You seem less upset. You seem less upset. 
That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. What? You seem less upset at this. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. I am Alestia Alice from the University of Arraeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just... Did I interrupt it? something? I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Sorry, I'll leave. Then I will return to my meditations. Got a smoke? We're all out. Been counting your kills? I'm up to 24. Krogan, Hanar, these things. Doesn't matter what color they are, or how many legs they have. They're all out to screw us.
what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. You want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another. Like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another. And we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. <coughs> There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventrolis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. They've been administering stims at their request. Every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What's wrong with these people? Accessing logs. They were in the midst of an experiment when the shutdown began. When you were taken offline. Without my program to administrate containment procedures, a quarantine breach occurred. What treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. What are you doing over here? I administrate the systems of all of the various Peak 15 facilities. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please.
problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxic cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guts. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Great. We'll be stuck unless he decides we're healthy. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If 
you're gonna be crazy. Be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I heard you were in the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Dr. Zonmua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once and they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. The only thing you could do was save yourself. Of course. That is perfectly true. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Dr. Zonmua. She banged up. I closed the door. I killed her. The only thing you could do was save yourself. Of course. That is perfectly true. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. space. Over 2,000 years ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown system and encountered the citadel is an ancient. Citadel space is an unofficial term referring to any region of space controlled by a species that acknowledges the authority of the Citadel Council. At first glance, it appears this territory encompasses most of the galaxy. In reality, however, less than 1% of the stars have been explored. Even Mass Effect FTL Drive is slow relative to the volume of the galaxy. Empty space and systems without suitable drive discharge sites are barriers to exploration. Only the mass relays allow ships to jump hundreds of light years in an instant. <coughs> the key to expanding across an otherwise impassable galaxy. Whenever a new relay is activated, the destination system is rapidly developed. From that hub, FTL drive is used to expand to nearby star clusters. The result is a number of densely developed clusters, thinly spread across the vast expanse of space, connected by the mass relay network. Citadel. There aren't any human specters. Look, Plague doesn't care who you are. This lab is under quarantine. What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. What do you want? Yeah, you got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade.
always have been code named Sapper, Stalker, and Ghost. Of course, so there are three subtypes of hoppers. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Ambush. She's surrounded by Geth and pointing a gun at us. Shoot her! You're not as stupid as you look. Weapons free! You mean the get the inorganics 
the Asari had with her. Venezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. There's just snow back there. Let me see that fire. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? <coughs> and I almost lost mine. Thanks is all I get. We need to be at peak to fight those aliens. Give us some Medigel. Of course, here. Yeah. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Ventralis's guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy. Irrational. Talk to you later. Of course. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> 